Hello and welcome to i Tenert. Africa is the second largest continent, and one with the highest number of countries in the world. While Africa is endowed with plenty of natural resources, and a cultural and ecological diversity, the majority of the continent still remains underdeveloped. For a country to be classified as developed, it must meet certain standards and possess specific, necessary features. Chief among these features is obviously the availability of modern infrastructure such as good roads, housing, stable electricity, telecommunication infrastructure, hospitals etc. Beyond these, other important factors are also considered. These include how highly functional and stable the government is, the availability of good jobs, accessibility of health and social services, personal freedom, highly effective educational system and more. Over the years, the United Nations Human Development Index HDI, has become the most widely used and universally agreed tool for measuring different countries' developing status. According to the United Nations Development Program, the HDI was created to emphasize that people and their capabilities should be the ultimate criteria for assessing the development of a country, not economic growth alone. Some of the key indicators tracked by the HDI are life expectancy rate, adult literacy rate, access to the internet and income inequality. According to World Population Review, these indicators are all compiled into a number between 0.00 and 1.00. Countries that score very low on these indicators, 0 to 0.55, are classified as having low human development ratio. The ones that score between 0.55 to 0.70 are classified as medium human development countries, while those with scores of between 0.70 and 0.80 are classified to have high human development ratio. Meanwhile, countries with high human development ratio score between 0.80 to 1.0. Based on the latest Human Development Index dated December 2021, we bring to you the top 10 most developed countries in Africa in 2022. If you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Tell us in the comment box below, where you are watching this video from. Now here are the top 10 most developed countries in Africa in 2022. Number 10 on the list is the Kingdom of Morocco with HDI of 0.686. It is in North Africa and has a total population of 37.6 million. It spans an area of 446,300 square kilometers. It gained independence from France in 1956 and is one of Africa's upper middle income economies. The GDP per capita was $3,009.25 as of 2020. The country has seen unexpected growth in various industries over the past years. Currently, the country is focusing on enhancing its high-value added industries and this has brought about a strong recovery on the European market. The main challenge remains boosting the private sector to encourage job creation for the younger generation. Morocco's leading economic sectors are textiles, leather goods, food processing, oil refining, and electronic assembly. The HDI in the country is 0.686, ranking at 121 out of 188 countries worldwide. Number 9 on the list is Gabon, with HDI 0.703. Located in Central Africa, Gabon is bordered by Equatorial Guinea to the northwest, Cameroon to the north, the Republic of the Congo on the east and south, and the Gulf of Guinea to the west. It has an area of nearly 270,000 square kilometers and a population of 2.226 million people. Gabon is one of the most developing countries in Africa. Gabon gained independence from France in 1960 and became an upper-middle-income economy. The GDP per capita is $7,100 as of 2020. Oil makes up 80% of exports, although it relies on mining, forestry, and fishing industries. The country has a tourism industry as well. Gabon's HDI is 0.703, with an impressive ranking of 119 out of 188 countries for this indicator. Next on the list of most developing countries in Africa is Egypt. It is in North and Central Africa and has a total population of 102.3 million people. It is bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, the Gaza Strip, Palestine, and Israel to the northeast, the Red Sea to the east, Sudan to the south, 
and Libya to the west. Egypt gained independence from Britain in 1922 and is now an upper middle income economy. The GDP per capita is $3,548 as of 2021. Egypt's economy relies mainly on agriculture, media, petroleum imports, natural gas, and tourism. The HDI in Egypt is a low of 0.707, ranking 116 out of 188 countries. Number 7 on the list is most famous country in Africa, South Africa. It has a total population of 59.31 million. The country is the world's 23rd most populous nation and covers an area of 1,221,037 square kilometers. It gained independence from Britain in 1961 and has since become an upper middle income economy. The GDP per capita is $7,100 as of 2021. With its highly developed economy and advanced economic infrastructure, South Africa is a major player on the African continent. Being one of the world's largest producers and exporters of gold and platinum, the country has considerably developed its financial, legal, energy and transport sectors. The key economic sectors in South Africa are manufacturing, wholesale and retail trade, financial services, transport, mining, agriculture, and tourism. The HDI of the country is 0.709. One of the most developing countries in Africa is Libya. It is in North Africa and has a total population of 6,871 million. With an area of almost 700,000 square miles, it is the fourth largest country in Africa and the Arab world, and the 16th largest in the world. It gained independence from Italy in 1951 and became an upper middle income economy. The GDP per capita is $3,699 as of 2021. Oil makes up almost the country's exports, Libya has the 10th largest proven oil reserves in the world. While agriculture accounts for 2% of its exports, Libya has a small mining industry and tourism, and textiles. Its HDI is 0.724 making Libya the 6th developed country in Africa. Number 5 on the list is Botswana. Botswana is a landlocked country in southern Africa. It has a total population of 2,352 million. Botswana is topographically flat, with up to 70% of its territory being the Kalahari Desert. It gained independence from Britain, in 1966 at that time, it was one of the poorest countries in the world. Yet, it quickly became an example of development success on the African continent, averaging 5% growth per annum over the past decade. Botswana is currently an upper middle income economy. The GDP per capita is $6,711 as of 2021. The economy depends on diamond mining, tourism, livestock agriculture, cattle, subsistence farming, and financial services. The HDI of Botswana is a high of 0.735, making Botswana the fifth developed country in Africa. Tunisia is number 4 on the list. Tunisia is one of the most developing countries in Africa that borders Algeria to the west and southwest, Libya to the southeast, and the Mediterranean Sea to the north and east, covering 163,610 square kilometers. It is has a total population of 11.82 million people. It gained independence from France in 1956 and is currently a middle-income economy. The GDP per capita is $3.319 as of 2021. With a relatively turbulent past, Tunisia has gradually been developing into a more stable economy. Tunisia has an agriculture industry which makes up 9% of its exports. Besides this, it has small enterprises besides tourism. It also produces textiles and oil. Tunisia's Human Development Index score, HDI, is 0.740. Now let's move to the third country on the list but before that, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Let's also hear you in the comment box below where you are watching this video from. The third country on the list is Algeria. It is in North Africa and has a total population of 43.85 million. 
Algeria is a major player in the MENA region and has achieved a remarkable feat by reducing poverty by 20% in the past two decades. According to the World Bank, Algeria gained independence from France in 1962 and became an upper-middle-income economy. Its GDP per capita was $3,310 as of 2021. The country is heavily reliant on energy exports in natural gas and oil, and the HDI of Algeria is 0.748 making it the third on the list. The second on the list is Seychelles. The Seychelles is an archipelago of 115 islands in the Indian Ocean, off East Africa. It's home to numerous beaches, coral reefs and nature reserves, as well as rare animals such as giant aldabra tortoises. It is one of the smallest sovereign nations on earth. With its small size comes a small government with only 13 cabinet ministers. Seychelles gained independence from Britain in 1976. The country has the highest gross domestic product, GDP, per capita in Africa, at $11,425.09, 2021 This small country has a large tourism industry besides fishing and finance. The HDI in Seychelles is a high of 0.796. Number 1 on the list is Mauritius. Mauritius is the most developing country in Africa. It is in the Indian Ocean and has a total population of 8,622.68 as of 2020. It is one of the smallest sovereign nations on Earth. Since gaining independence from Britain in 1968, Mauritius has become an upper-middle-income country with a gross national per capita GDP of $10.91 billion as of 2020. This small country depends on tourism, which makes up 20% of its GDP. It also has finance, textiles, and sugar industries, among others. Mauritius is one of the most well-developed countries in Africa, with an HDI score of 0.804. It is the only country in Africa with a very high Human Development Index score. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.